Prime Minister Dean Barrow met with church leaders today at the Roman Catholic Diocese office to discuss issue of Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin's ruling on Section 53 of Belize's Criminal Code. In the ruling, the CJ made sexual relations between two consenting adults in private legal and redefined the word sex to also mean sexual orientation. The churches were upset, especially about the redefinition of sex. After a series of demonstrations carried out, they presented a list of demands to the Prime Minister. We caught up with Prime Minister Dean Barrow following the meeting. We had an extremely useful, constructive, responsible or respectable, cordial dialogue. Uh, I'm going to take back some of what was said to Cabinet tomorrow. The Reverend uh, gentleman will reflect on the substance of the discussion. We'll meet again on Friday at the Biltmore at 10 o'clock and thereafter we hope to have a final position to give to you. Although the PM did not give much on the substance of the meeting, church leaders eagerly spoke about what was discussed and it looks like a give and take compromise is on the horizon. Representing the National Evangelical Association of Belize, Pastor Lance Lowy spoke about the compromises being made. Bishop Philip Wright from the Belize Council of Churches said that the churches still need to decide what they want appealed and President of the Alliance of Churches and other interested groups, Patrick Menzies, said that he was optimistic about the forthcoming resolutions. We still have to get our minds wrapped around exactly what we want to um, appeal. And that's where we are as a, as a Christian body. The Prime Minister has listened to all the different church leaders, given their opinion. Some have, not, have decided not to appeal. I, for one, said we want to appeal. The Catholic Church said that they will go and consider further. But the bottom line is that he's willing to withdraw the gender policy. He's willing to look at moving that the statement by the Chief Justice that said sexual orientation. Sex means sexual orientation. And he's going to dialogue further. There's another meeting planned for Friday, 10 o'clock, at the Biltmore. We, as an NEAB, stood by the fact that we want um, homosexuality still be wrong in the sight of God and the sight of man. Others had a different opinion. We should adjust that and, and that would be it. What the PM uh, said, in other words, the, the doors are open that in my view were not open before. So I am encouraged and I am looking forward to Friday and we will submit to them again where we stand in relation to what he is proposing uh, and then we'll see how that works out on Friday. So as far as the Alliance is concerned, we are encouraged by what we saw, uh, optimistic, cautiously, but we're optimistic that uh, we will get uh, what we've been seeking. As mentioned, church leaders and the PM will meet again on Friday after the issue is tabled at Cabinet. It is expected that on Friday they will come to a compromise.